Hello, welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Today we are going to learn how you can integrate Java with UiPath. So in one of our video, we have seen how we can integrate Python with UiPath and how we can execute different Python scripts using the UiPath. Right. So today we are going to learn how we can integrate Java with UiPath. Okay. So for that, first what we have to do is let me search for Java. Okay, so that is not a default part package. So what I need to do, I need to go to manage package. Let me go to all package and search for Java. Okay, let me click on this package, click on install, click on save. So it will take some time for uh, installing all the dependencies. Okay, so using this package, it is providing uh, some six uh, activities which will help us to perform different actions on the jar file which we are going to create in uh, java okay so uh, we can call our uh, different objects or uh, we can create java objects or we can call different public uh, uh, objects from the java code so all these things are possible using uh, java ui path so let me search for java okay so these are the six activities which uh, UiPath is offering to integrate the Java. Okay, so the uh, first one is convert Java object. So we can create an uh, object for the Java, and if you want to convert that to a string variable or of different type, we can use this particular activity. Create Java object means suppose if I, ha I have a class and I need to create an object for that uh, particular class to get uh, the other public elements, I can use this Java or create Java object get field means suppose if i want to get some value uh, which is declared as public in the java class i can use this get field and invoke java method means suppose if i want to invoke some method which is there in the class okay i can use this uh, invoke java method activity and java scope is nothing but it is a container which help us to um, uh, give a container scope okay like there we will have to provide the path of the java and load jar is nothing but if i have a project in any of the id like eclipse and if i need to if i convert that to a jar file that jar file i need to invoke right for that i can use this load jar activity so let's move on so uh, initially what i'm going to do is i will show you uh, how we can create a very simple uh, java project in eclipse and then we can convert that to an uh, jar file and then we can invoke that in uipa okay so um, uh, this is uh, Eclipse and here uh, you can see I have created a package com.test and uh, let me create a new class inside this new class and uh, let me name it like a uh, test java ui path okay so test java ui path is my class name click on finish okay here you can see the package name com.test and here you can see the class name right so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a uh, method public static. Then, um, okay. So just consider, uh, I'm going to create a uh, calculator. Okay, I need to create a different function, right? So just consider um, it as int and addition. Okay. So what should be the parameters that I need to pass? I need to pass two variables, right? Int b okay so that's it so this is one um, a function which with the name is addition and here i have declared the return type as in so we need to include a return right return statement so let me name it like return result okay so what is this result i need to declare this result just consider it as one okay so i'm just initializing it as a in result equal to one so what is the action that i need to perform result equal to a plus b okay so that is the calculation that i need to do suppose if i am calling this addition if and if i am passing two um, numbers that is suppose we just consider two and three okay i need to return the result as a five as the output okay so that's it so same like that you can create a different uh, functions okay so inside this class you can create a different uh, uh, functions subtraction okay and here what should be the result that i need to pass a minus b and the result i need to return okay so this is very uh, simple uh, class as well as uh, two different uh, functions okay now what i'm going to do 
uh, I'm going to this project, test project, and I'm going to export this. Okay, I'm going to export this jar as a jar file. Click on next. Uh, where is the path? C uses admin demo Java UI path dot jar. Java UI path dot jar is a jar name. Five jar uh, jar name. Okay, click on finish. Okay, then I'm going to UI path. So I have created the jar file, right? So now we can understand how we can integrate the jar file with UI path. Okay, so the primary step is we need to add the container that is uh, Java scope. Okay, so inside this Java scope, we need to provide the Java library path. So how we can find the Java library path? The one thing is either we can search for environment variable. Go to environment variable. Okay, here you can find the Java home. So just copy that. Okay. And paste it here. Inside double quotes, you need to just paste the path. Or another method is like just go to command line. In the command prompt, you need to type echo uh, Java home. If you have already initialized the Java home in the environment variable, okay. So it will return the Java path for us, okay. So that's it. So uh, we have used Java scope and I provided the Java library path. Then what I need to do, I need to load the jar file, right? So I created a project in Java and I need to first load the Java project to access all the class and uh, functions which is there in the jar file. So I'm going to use load jar and where is the jar residing? It is there inside demo folder. So let me go to desktop demo okay java ui path dot jar okay so now we have loaded the jar file then uh, what is the next thing that we need to do so we have uh, learned how to use java scope as well as a load jar activity okay so the next thing what we can do is either you can create a java object for uh, the particular uh, um, jar file okay so what i'm going to do let me do one thing Mm, create a java object okay so i'm going to drag and drop this and what should be the target type target type is nothing but like inside a class there can be multi sorry inside a jar file there can be multiple classes right so this object will be representing one particular class okay so for this particular class i'm going to create a uh, create an object so we have to give it in uh, package level so com dot test com dot test dot our class name okay and i'm going to create an object java object i'm going to name it like java obj okay so that's it so java obj is my uh, java object variable okay so you can see the variable type is java object so let me go here invoke java method <coughs> okay so what is the method name here i need to invoke the addition right so i need to invoke a addition and whether i need to provide any parameters yes i need to provide so just click on this create two variables and i'm going to pass uh, some values okay so just me pass it like a five and here i'm going to pass seven so the result i should get it like a 12 what is a type it should be an integer it should be a type of integer that's it click on ok so to this particular method that is addition we are going to pass two values that is 5 and 7 and we should get a result as uh, 12 right so that's it and what should be the java object java object is nothing but the object that we just created that is java obj so if we haven't created any java object what we can do is you can directly give this target type over here also okay so that is a target type and uh, here we need to get the output right so let me name it like a out result okay so the out result is of type again java object then what we need to do let me add up a message box
let me add a message box and let me call out result okay dot to string so it should output the result as a 12 so inside a create java object we created a java object and using the java object we are going to call uh, the method addition and we have passed two parameters as 5 and 7 and we should get the result as a 12 in this message box so let me save it and let me call this sorry let me execute this file okay uh, so i think i forgot one step mm. okay so the execution will throw an error okay okay here you can see the message box is uipath.java.java object right because the object which i used is of a type of java object okay so a java object cannot be utilized in our uipath so what we have to do we need to convert that java object to a uh, another variable type right so for that what we can do is we need to use convert java object okay so same thing we have seen in uh, python integration also right so what i'm going to do so this out result is a java object so let me use out result then where i need to print the result i'm going to name it like result right and the, the result i am going to print in the message box okay so here what i did first we created the java object then to get that result to the ui path what we need to do we need to convert that java object to a normal variable and we need to print it in the message box right let me execute it again So we got the result as a 12. So what I did, I created uh, a class that is test Java UI path and I created two functions inside that and with a two parameters, right? A and B. And in the first function, we are doing the addition and second function, I am doing the subtraction. And in the UI path, um, what I did, I added the Java scope and I provided the uh, Java path. Then I uh, loaded the jar file. Then I created a uh, Java object for the particular class which I am going to use then using that object what I did I invoked the function that is addition which is there inside the uh, test java ui path class and I got the result as a out result right so in order to use that result in the ui path what I need to do I need to convert that to a normal result so I can uh, use convert java object to convert that to a normal result and I print it in the message box right so uh, currently what we have uh, used, we have used Java scope and load jar, then uh, invoke Java method and uh, we have used um, create Java object and convert Java object. So one more is pending that is get field. So just consider inside uh, our uh, Java uh, project, we have initialized a few public uh, objects. Okay, so let me put some public uh, variables, public static. Mm, string my pal equal to hello your path okay so suppose if this is one of variable which i declare as public and if i want to uh, use this value somewhere in my automation in the ui path what i can do let me export this new char file char finish okay that's all right so here what i need to do i need to use get field okay get field and what is the name over here that is my var right it's my var and java object i can use java obj so that is my java object and the result i'll be getting over here the result mm, field output field output 
given field is not a field out okay so again field out will be of a type of java object so we can uh, use convert java object again to convert that result to one okay so here we'll be getting the result to result of one so get field get field we are getting the uh, java object and um, here we are converting that to result one right and this result one we can print it plus result uh, one dot two string okay so that's it run the file okay so it is printing 12 as well as hello ui path so hello ui path is one uh, public variable which i de declare inside the class and uh, 12 is nothing but the result which i got from the function okay so that's it this is how you can integrate ui path with java and uh, clearly mentioned like what are the activities which is available in ui path to integrate java and what is the usage of this activity and how you can use this activity to call different methods inside uh, our java file as well as to use different fields that is declared in the uh, java right so that's it hope you find this video useful if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye